What's going on, Sexy Beast of Balds Man here, and I've actually had a lot of people ask me to watch this video and give my opinions on it, and it's a Nixaru's Ancient Evil review, and I don't really understand it. I thought I made my opinions pretty clear about Ancient Evil, so I don't really understand why a lot of you guys want me to watch it. I don't think my opinion about the map is really going to change that much, but I've had a lot of people ask me to do it, so I thought, fuck it, let's go ahead, we'll give it a watch, let's see if maybe he gives a really good argument, maybe I'll change my mind, maybe I'll come around on the map. So uh, let's go ahead and get this shit started. All right, so we're like 30 minutes in. Guys, I really just don't see why you wanted me to watch this. Like, it's just, it's an ancient evil review, and my opinions still about this have not changed. I really just don't get why you guys wanted me to watch this video. Oh, I see why. That was a complete left fucking turn. That was like two left turns. We're not even heading the same direction now. You went from an ancient evil review... To rape culture. I mean, I gotta give you credit. That was a pretty damn good transition. No, it was a terrible trend. How the fuck do you... How did you... Hang on. Let me go back. Hold up. The story about misogyny and the oppression of female sexuality in patriarchal societies like ancient Greece. Ironically, Athena, the goddess of wisdom, represents rape culture <laughs> in this story. Athena's mindset is that of the modern victim. Fucking done, dude. I'm fucking done. Medusa was asking for it. Did you see what she was wearing? What a... She's too pretty for her own good. She shouldn't have let herself be alone with Poseidon. Boys will be boys. The victim blame paradigm is a ridiculous view of sexual assault that places the onus of preventing the assault on the victim. I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. What the fuck, man? <laughs> what the fuck? Boys will be boys. No one victim. Bl oh man, this, this is about Call of Duty zombies. The fuck? Like, I could understand if this was all said during, like, a live stream or something, because we know when it come to my live streams, we get off the rails. But, I, I don't see how, how the fuck did we get from ancient evil to rape culture to boys will be boys. Let me guess, you were a very, very big fan of that Gillette commercial. Like, I just can't see the, how the fuck did we get here? What? All right, let's keep going. Sexual assault is not okay, has never been okay, and any perpetrators should be punished for their actions. No shit! Secondly, what the hell was Medusa supposed to do in this situation? Wear clothing that makes it impossible to see any part of her that might have excited the male gaze? She deserves to rise up and see her perpetrator actually punished for his actions. It's time for Poseidon, and honestly quite a lot of the great gods, to have their Me Too moment. Circling- Mmm, fuck. Uh, that, that, that was it. That was it. Yep. Hashtag me too, guys. How did we get from ancient, how did we get from Call of Duty Zombies? I kind of understand how we get from Call of Duty Zombies to the history, to like the, you know, Greek gods and shit. Why are we talking about the sexism and all that? What, what, what does that have to do with anything? I don't get it. But now we're getting back to the chaos so I can, oh god. Subject matter is somewhat unexpected, but also important. Zombies has never tackled topics like this before, and I hope Treyarch handles things delicately if they choose to further explore this aspect of Medusa's <laughs> character. We kind of see this play out in the outro itself, because Medusa kisses uh, Scarlet without consent. Without what? What? Without consent? The point of that, I, I don't know anything about this fucking storyline, but it was pretty obvious to me that the kiss was just to get knowledge, because she doesn't read one book a day. She doesn't have a Lamborghini. <laughs> what the, What kind of blue fucking pill are you on, man? What the fuck? Related if you found out someone tricked you into helping them, and used that trust to peer into your mind, potentially seeing your deepest secrets, while also sexual- Yeah, I got fucking tricked into watching this video. Hashtag me too. A lot of people seem to not really be paying attention to these deeper themes of assault. That's, no. Instead focusing on, <laughs> oh my god, two girls kissed, how hot. <laughs> I understand where this response comes from, but it's a bit- When I, uh, there's no fucking way, dude, there's no fucking way when Treyarch was like, hey, let's tackle the themes of sexual assault in a Call of Duty Zombies game. 
<laughs> that's not what there's no fucking way that's what that kiss meant not in any fucking dude i believe there are multiple universes and dimensions and shit but not even in one was that a fucking possibility that is not what they're going for they're not gonna tackle themes of sexual or fucking salt it's not gonna what is what is this what are we doing it's 2019 what the fuck are we doing how prevalent it is in the zombies community. This is not girl on girl action for your enjoyment. Yeah, it's it an is. assault on one of the main characters by a villain, both of whom just so happen to be female. It's disgusting to fetishize and objectify lesbian sexuality. Hey! Lesbians are not objects. Lesbians are hot, god damn it. Just for that, I'm jerking it to lesbian porn tonight. Fuck you. I'm trying to fucking tell me what kind of titties I can't love. I love what fucking titties I want to love. For your pleasure. They are people with their own stories, wants, needs, and desires. No shit. Just because you find no that shit. them kissing other girls turns you on. It is. It, it's hot. It's, okay it's so hot. Their Ugh, so just good. To sexual objects or to objectify them. <laughs> Come on, people. You can be better than this. Ah, why Try do I feel like he's just blank? I feel like he's just saying everyone that fucking plays zombies is is a sexist, racist, homophobic piece of shit. You all are terrible human beings. I can like just feel my testosterone lowering. I'm I'm gonna hang on. All right, so I just went to the store. I got me some testosterone pills. Uh, I'm gonna need to take them after watching this because I can just feel my vagina growing. Treyarch also needs to be very careful about yeah, how they treat Medusa's sexuality if yeah. you're going to be a lesbian. Villain. Damn you, Treyarch! Lately, mass media doesn't have a great track record for positively representing oppressed minorities like gamers. those belonging to the LGBT Rise up, community. Gamers. community. This is all thanks to a Rise little up. thing called the Motion Picture Production Code that was an effort by the what Hollywood the fuck Studio is this? to self-regulate. This is an ancient evil review. What the fuck is this? Oh my god. And other storytelling mediums such as video games. This code was racist, sexist, <laughs> homophobic, and transphobic. Focusing on the issue I just love when he like lists everything like racist, sexism, homophobic, fuck you. The code stated, sex perversion or any inference to it is forbidden. In 1961, the code was updated to say- Why? Why am I listening to this? Why, if I clicked on this video for an ancient evil review, granted he did give a little time warning about what was going to be said, but if I clicked on this video expecting an ancient evil review, this is the last thing I would be expecting to hear. I'd be pretty pissed off. Why am I getting a history lesson about the United States and homophobia and se well, I don't fucking care. I, I don't fucking care, dude. No amount of doing any of this, no amount of this is going to get you any pussy, dude. I'm, I'm sorry. I feel like I have to say it. Does anybody else think I'm sorry? I have to say it. I'm going to have to rise up and be the one that says it. Ain't no bitch gonna fuck you because you said that Asian evil was sexist, all right? It's not gonna happen. I'm sorry. I hate to be the one to break it to you. Ain't no bitch ever gonna be like, damn, do I see his video? He's saying zombie was sexist? Psh, wet. Ain't no girl ever gonna do that. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you it's not gonna happen. You might want to try other. You have a great YouTube channel, you know, swing that around. Bitches love subs and views, but they don't like sexism and zombies. But they don't like when you call out sexism and homophobic and, and lesbians and zombies or whatever the fuck this weird ass this road we're I don't. Ugh. This dehumanization by mass media was harmful because it what? hindered Again, the progress of the game. What does this have to do with ancient evil? For decades to secure I don't get rights. it. It's important to not have the sole LGBTQ representation in your story be a villain because it allows for this. Oh, okay. All right, all right. I kind of understand now. So that's the whole reason we we did all that, I guess. He's mad that the, the villain was a lesbian or something. Even though... I just... I have two brain cells and they're really working overtime to try to understand these these paths here, man. I'm fucking trying. Uh, it's just not succeeding. And yes, I'm aware that the chaos story takes place in 1912, but that doesn't mean it should be written with the cultural sensitivities of somebody who lived 100 years ago. Moreover, LGBTQ people have always existed and will always is exist. This what zombies just because is now? they weren't accepted in 1912 doesn't mean there is aren't plenty zombies of them is that... Now? Is this, is this what zombies is now? Is this the, this the type of people that play zombies? Because... I, I, I've been straying away from zombies, and, you know, if I, 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 is this the norm? Is this, is this what goes on nowadays? Like, is this what happens in the zombies community? Like, did I, did I leave for that? I wasn't really gone, but I, I, I turned away. I turned back. Is, is, is the zombies community full of cucks? Just, just be honest with me. 
Is it? This seems to imply that Scarlet is potentially a demigod. As are we, we going back to ancient evil is. now? We know her dad is Alice are we back? Rose. Are we back to ancient evil? So conceivably, it could I be think some so. kind of Greek goddess. Thank which would fucking be very Christ. I also, I mean, other than the weird part at the end, it seemed like a pretty good review. He does very, very well during his reviews, but when he gets political, no, <laughs> just don't do that. I want to read some of the comments, because usually comments are pretty funny. Uh, one of the top-ranked comments, Maybe Medusa isn't LGBT, but is kissing Scarlet because of the, the info Scarlet possesses, and that's the only way to do so. Nothing else. Yeah, kind of agree with that. That's uh, pretty much what it was. That's how I saw it, and pretty much how everyone... You are looking way too deep into this, man. Get off, get, Take your Minecraft shovel somewhere else, because you're digging way too far into this. Bruh. Bruv. I want a review of Zombies Map, not a 10 minutes of your political opinions and irrelevant whining. The last 10 minutes of the video were hella unnecessary. I liked most of the video, but the sexual assault by Medusa is stupid. Uh. There is nothing sexual about a kiss. It was purely for information. I 100% agree for that, and I could have made a joke about that, but I'm not going to because I'm not that mean. I think we looking too deep into the Medusa Scarlet scene. A female villain kissing someone for some sort of supernatural gain is not new. Let's be real. If she kissed someone like Diego or Bruno, we wouldn't be talking about it as much. Touche! Would you be saying that's sexual assault? I doubt it. Hell, I doubt we would even bring up a sexual assault aspect. Let's not get too silly with this. Even I don't think the writers intended such a stance. Medusa kisses hero for plot purposes. Nick Sorrow. Lesbian villain! Bruh, sexual assault and homophobia. LMAO, you've gotta be joking. Nick Sorrow was the second half of the video in April Fool's joke? Was it uploaded on April Fool's? Did he fucking- no, it's April 3rd. About to say, that'd be a hell of an April Fool's joke, for real. That'd be great, you should've done that. Literally no one, Nick Sorrow at the end of the video. Let's talk about homophobia and politics instead of the map. <laughs> oh, this is good. Did anyone actually care about the fact that they kissed? I was more invested in the actual story and theorizing about what happened. If anyone really cared, that's really dumb, to be honest. I think you're looking way too far into the themes, my man. It's just a game. Next zombies map, Scarlet remembers her sexual assault from a snake woman. I don't need politics in my zombies. I need good story and good maps. <laughs> All right, last one, a TLDW of the video. The map's really good. Now here's an essay on why sexual assault, trademark, and homophobia, trademark, are bad. <laughs> I think Nick Sorrow's videos are fucking great. I love when he does these little political things because they're funny as shit. Like, the rest of his videos are very well done. It's just when he goes into these, like, social justice warrior rants that it's fucking hilarious. And uh, just completely, like, out of the blue and unnecessary and they weren't needed, like, whatsoever. Like, you're looking way too deep into this, man. And I have nothing against uh, Nick Sorrow whatsoever. I just think when someone does something stupid like this, if I, if I do anything stupid like this, feel free to make fun of me. I think it's funny. I think they should be laughed at because that was... <laughs> Woo! That was pretty weird. But I will give... Nick Saru an out, alright? I'll give you an out to get on my good side, alright? I like guns, I shoot them all the time. Insert little montage of me shooting guns. Now, this is what I want. I want to know your opinion on guns, alright? I feel like I already know what it is, but this could be a redemption for you, my man. I want to know, because the last that I checked, your Twitter is still deleted because people were being very, very mean to you. So, I want to know, what's your opinions on guns, alright? If you don't like them, I don't think we can ever be friends, alright? But if you do like them, let's go shoot some shit, alright? Or just completely ignore me, because that's what I would do. I'm a bald piece of shit and completely irrelevant, so just ignore me. That's, that's, probably, that's probably the best thing to do. So... Saying all that, that's what I'm gonna call it. This video was fucking hilarious, and please do more stuff like this so I can laugh at it. If I ever do anything like this, please feel free to make fun of me. Like, I encourage it. Please do. And that's, uh, pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And lastly, shout out to these great Patreon supporters right here. These guys right here, they don't gotta complain about sexism and homophobia and lesbianism to get some pussy, all right? They can get it all on their own. So shout out to these guys. If you'd like to be a Patreon supporter, check it out. Link will be right down there below. And also while you're down there, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Discord, and Twitch. And uh, I think that should be it. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>